What is the most hurtful thing your so has ever said to you? Here's a few gems from my ex-wife. While at a drive-in movie, she says you would be a boring father. Our kids would never have fun with you. If we ever get divorced, you will never find anyone else. You are too different and wear it. Jokes on her though. I got remed and have two wonderful children. And I'm a pretty fun dad. Maybe if you had eaten better during your pregnancy our daughter would have been born healthy. He said this a week after our daughter died following open heart surgery. He's not a totally despicable person but watching her die made us into different people. Oh dear. I hope you don't blame yourself. When my sister's first baby was stillborn, the social worker told her that if drug addicts can have healthy babies, then clearly it wasn't my sister's fault her baby died. But these things happen. It's terrible. I'm so sorry. A week after my mom died, we were moving. Had been in the process for a while. And she says during a disagreement, you've been a lil b ever since your mom died. I was 22. She passed the day after my second anniversary and right before both my kids birthdays. Heck no. Sorry for your loss. I can't imagine losing a parent that young. Hope you've found a better life for you and your kid than with that person. I don't like the way you look naked. Turns out that he found appreciation in the way at least 9 other women look naked. Yikes. I hope your usage is the past tense means he's past tense too. Let's face it. You're probably not going to be the girl I marry. Shame B. Who's laughing now? Your lawfully wedded wife. That's who. I don't think this is how revenge works. If you like someone, do them a favor. Stay away from them. Said to me by my ex after five and a half years, in one of the last conversations we had as a couple. This is your fault. Said to me by an ex in a snapchat along with a picture of where she'd slit her wrist. She said that she did it because I was ignoring her while I was at work and that she should be more important than me holding down a job. Four years ago I got accepted into grad school across the country. My then so who I had been with for 6 years said this to me when I told him my hesitations about doing the whole long distance thing. I don't need you. You need me. I guess I was in awe that someone can say that to their partner after so long together and it was a deal breaker for me. So I decided to show him that no. I did not need him. I left him, moved halfway across the country, and am graduating pharmacy school in 3 short weeks. Yeah it was heartbreaking at the time, but was also a blessing in disguise. So glad I dodged that bullet. Congrats on your upcoming graduation. That crap's far from easy, and living your best life is the sweetest revenge. I found out he was cheating on me. The other girl didn't know about me. I told her, rationally, what was going on. And we somewhat kept in touch after I broke it off with the dude. He didn't go quietly and projected, a lot. I eventually shook him off, and so did the other girl. But not before he told her your parents both died in that fiery car crash because you are a crappy person. She called me crying. He is the worst human I've ever known. He's a piece of crap but honestly it makes me so happy that you and the other girl were there for each other. Women supporting women, especially in cases where it's support in dealing with a man, is so so important. I'm glad that we can have each other's backs when needed. I had an ex who was studying for the bar and this is like a 9-5 job, so she really couldn't work. She was staying with me, rent free, eating my meals that I cooked, going out to dinner with my family, enjoying all of the freebies that came with that. This was early on and she told me that if it was the other way around she wouldn't support me, and she didn't. She hounded me about finding a better job, made me split every expense evenly, except groceries. I almost always paid for those. I did all of the cooking and cleaning. After cooking meals I was told that since she was making more and working more that I should also have to clean them. It's pretty sad what you'll live with when you can't afford your own place. Thankfully I got away from her. An ex fiance of mine many years ago several months after taking her virginity. Her. I want to find another person to have sex with. Me. You want to break up? Her. No. I want to stay with you. But also have sex with other guys. Me. So you want us to have an open relationship? Her. Yes. But only for me. Me. So. You want to be able to sleep with whoever you want and I only get to have sex with you. Her. Yes. Me. So you want to break up? 
per number. You've had sex with other women before you met me. I've only had sex with you and I think I'm missing out. You're just like your sister. My sister's a psychopath who thinks everything revolves around her. Once she locked my disabled dad in his laundry because he said no to her. It still stings a little to this day. The worst thing about likening someone to a family member or sibling is that even if you're both pretty different, you're both the same on some level, which makes it hurt way more. I was having suicidal thoughts. I was in a really low point and I felt that I couldn't tell to anyone. So finally had the courage to tell him and he told me I was selfish. A few weeks later he told me how two of his girl friends had suicidal thoughts and how bad he felt for them. When this happened we've been together for 10 years already. Now he's an ex. I'm sorry you lost so much time to him. You'll never be thin again said to me by my husband as I was trying to start exercise. I was 50 pounds overweight after giving birth to twins. Postpartum depression. And was the only breadwinner of the house. I was stressed. I was unhappy. I was stress eating for years because it was the only bright spot of my days. I'm thin now. Eating healthy. Feeling pretty again. He's not alive to see it. This would be my ex-husband and it wasn't what he said. It was what he did. I was suffering from terrible depression and told him I was feeling suicidal. He left the room and then came back and very quietly put his gun in my nightstand. Then he just walked off. We had two kids in the house. So I'm not sure what he expected. Or hoped for. Update. Thank you all for the supportive post. I am really fine now. My children are grown. I married to a wonderful man. My depression is controlled and managed. It was a bad chapter of my life, but it's behind me now. What the actual freak? My ex-husband, husband at the time, had an affair with my best friend. Hi Alyssa, if you're reading this. So he was in love. I was devastated. Every time I ate I became nauseous. I lost 20 pounds in a month. He said, if only you'd lost the weight before I'd never have cheated. Frick you. I just had your baby butthole. Frick you Alyssa. You're a leech. I'm so sick of you. And now I'm going to do whatever I want and you can't stop me. I was a stay at home mom. Then he ran off with my best friend. Who is unemployed. Does not have custody of her own child. And sits around doing nothing except playing wow and racking up bills. Have fun with your new leech. D meanwhile I'm enjoying working as a librarian and I'm getting married next month. I got told by my first boyfriend that I was a lamprey. Which I guess is a fun new spin on being a leech. Funny how I was the one paying everything for him when I was 16 19 when he was 8 years older than me and refused to get a job or anything. But yeah, I'm the one who sucks. I'm calling off our wedding said by my ex fiance after he sat me down and asked for permission to explore his newfound bisexuality by participating in a gay orgy at his upcoming furry convention with the guys he had started chatting with every waking hour. And I said no, I'd like those 6 years of my life back. That's just so, but at least you found that out before the wedding instead of sinking more time into that. One girl I went out with for a while had told me the difference between me and some other guy she had been talking to just before me was that I was a man and he was a little boy, and then went on to tell me all the little things I do that she appreciates, which was obviously great because they were usually intentional, so knowing Thea appreciated is nice, but when I then spent another 2 months with her, and couldn't get my head around why her telling me I needed to step up and be a man about stuff was getting to me so much. Then I remember the compliment and it just clicked that she was intentionally using it to get me to do what she wanted and that felt pretty crappy. Dumb on my behalf but still didn't feel good. Her telling me I needed to step up and be a man about stuff. She was intentionally using it to get me to do what she wanted and that felt pretty crappy. Interestingly enough, at this point being a man becomes contingent upon you not doing what she tries to tell manipulate you into doing. I dated someone for 2 years, who was a very good looking guy and I always had to be on my toes a bit. I suspected he was cheating on me with a girl who I knew was attracted to him, texted him frequently, and I found her jacket in his room one day. I knew it was hers via FB stalking. He said, there always has to be something wrong. That stuck with me for a long time. He made me think I was crazy. I ended up being right, of course. As a teenager. 
yeah, so there are nice tea and then there are great tea, yours are just, nice, good for the self esteem and body image. Your body would be perfect if there was a way to get rid of the stretch marks on your boobs, I almost opened the airplane emergency door, I swear to god. X now, ugh why are you crying? UHH maybe cause you're manipulating me and openly cheating on me right in front of my face. Dong bag. Ever heard of exercise? You fatsy and you better not feed our son crap and let him get like you. This hurt because it was weight I put on being pregnant with our baby. Stupid thing is, I took him back numerous times. Low self esteem I guess. Holy crap please tell me you are not still with that queef. Beg for your freaking life. B I sat on my knees having him shoot round after round from a .38 Smith and Wesson after he drug me out to the middle of the woods at gunpoint. My crime? Breaking up with him for being an abusive, cheating butt, m addict. I didn't beg. And I don't give a frick if he's dead or alive 10 years later. When she told me I would never find someone better than her while suffering suicidal thoughts and depression. She pushed me over the edge but I knew I didn't want a toxic relationship. I broke up with her a few days after and have been happy these last 2 years without her. I was told once that no one will ever love me. As a person with low self esteem that really stung me for a long while. I also was always compared and subtly told I was fat and that his exes were all model like. But found out later they were lies. I hope you're out of that situation. She told me I was a piece of crap loser and that her life would genuinely be better if she had never met me, then blocked me, came back later and apologized but I mean how do you take that back? I'm moving in with my friend and I want a divorce about a month after our 2 month old passed away and our 2 year old was diagnosed with autism. I was depressed, he was depressed, nobody knew how to handle what was happening to us, and he actually did it, I'm still hurt by it and it's been 8 years. We did end up back together eventually and are very happy, but I always wonder in the back of my mind what would happen during another traumatic event. I always wonder if I'll end up alone again. This made me sad in a humbling sort of way. I hope you and your child are doing well. I was with someone who thought a good way to end a relationship was by being hostile to me to the point where I'd dump her. That one's pretty common actually, usually young people or those who aren't really emotionally ready to face being the bad guy. My ex-husband told me that his sister probably didn't hang out with me because she's so vain she only hangs out with really hot girls. He meant it as an insult about her, so I shouldn't have been insulted a bit, right? Nah, there's beauty in all its subjective forms and then there is the hot girl aesthetic. You should try some of those Spanx things under that pretty dress. I was wearing those Spanx things under my pretty dress. Wife. Everyone takes vitamin D here it's weird. Me. I got some vitamin D for you in my pants. Wife. You ain't got crap mate. She was only fricking about but I don't know crap hurt a little bit haha. You killed me with that haha. Man. Haha. You're fat like your mom and a W. That's why we don't go out anywhere. Because I'm embarrassed to be seen with you. While I was struggling with mental health, depression and suicidal thoughts. Hit rock bottom why you always lie. If you killed yourself that would just be my life and I would move on like you never existed. That stung a bit. I dated a girl who was into fitness for a while. Never again. I was really into fitness. He didn't mean me. And we were dating at a time, though not seriously. I dk what he was thinking, but it did look like he regretted opening his mouth just then. To be fair, last night my kid said I love daddy and I said I love daddy too. I, as a friend, boyfriend, who is not daddy was right there. Point is, both of us are goddamn idiots who need to keep our mouths shut. It's so important for your kid to hear you say that though. He drank a lot. Me. I think you need to cut down on your drinking. Him. I love you a lot, but I love beer more. So the fact that someone could love a beverage more than your girlfriend of 2 years really fricked me up. I knew a man who divorced his wife of 12 years because he was tired of her nagging him to stop drinking. He said he was angry because dang it, he's a man. He's not going to let her tell him what to do. Years after the divorce he started getting drunk and leaving messages on her voicemail telling her that he loved her. Not surprisingly she never responded. 
I went through a bad breakup about a year ago. Definitely the worst of my life, with a lot of toxicity on both sides. After reading this thread, I think I need to downgrade it from bad to not good, but overall could have been worse. You poor people. X. First serious boyfriend. I don't love you, and I never cared about you the way you cared about me. Die in a fire crap head. When he told me he cheated on me with a girl off backpage, twice, I think it hurt more knowing he intentionally paid someone to cheat on me with. He was just a fricked up person in general and I should have left way sooner. After years in a relationship to one day you're so suddenly saying I hate the way you eat, is probably the worst thing they could ever say. It cuts to the core of your very existence. While we were struggling to keep it afloat, he told me he regrets not getting his ex-friend before me and that he wondered if she was better since I was opposed really nice. A side note, she left him and blocked him because she knew he was pushy about those feelings to her as well. We ended our relationship on good terms and were still friends. He then went on to tell me how his new boyfriend was way better than me. That really hurt considering how much I had put into the relationship and he only knew this guy for like a day. He ended up cheating on his new BF too which made me question how faithful he was during our relationship. Needless to say we're not friends anymore. Former so, if that counts, I was leaving the house, heading off to work. Things had been escalating for a while, divorce seemed imminent. He said, I hope you get killed on the way to work, good riddance. Also, frick you, Steve. Please let me kiss her one more time, one more time and that'll be it, said by my ex to my 14 year old self after he cheated on me with his classmate. You're depressed? What do you have to be depressed about? My life is way worse because, insert rant of many reasons, that hurt especially when I revealed how vulnerable I was. I have been cheating on you. Being cheated on is such a painful feeling, especially when it's someone that you love and trust completely. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.